Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's webinar. My name is Guillermo Sanchez, and today I will be showing you how to use the MetaTrader 5, uh, the trader platform, which is uh, one of the platforms that we are currently um, offering here at CFI Financial. So uh, yeah, in today's webinar, I will be uh, explaining to you how to place an order. Also, uh, we will be uh, looking at different order types that the platform offers, such as, uh, well, obviously we have the market execution, and then we have the pending order, and we'll be going through all the type of uh, pending orders, such as limit orders, stop orders, and stop limit orders, okay? And I will go through all of them in details, and also I will be showing you how you, um, as you can put them when you look into trade on the MT5. Also, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any sort of questions, please do ask me. Um, you can drop the questions on the chat box. And as soon as I see it, I would be more than happy to answer them, okay? And either way, uh, usually at the end of the webinars, I'm answering any questions as well. So. Um, if you maybe later on or towards the end of the webinar, you have some sort of questions, please do ask me and I'm more than happy to uh, spend some time in answering any of your questions, okay? So um, let me now sh share, share my screen. So the first thing you, you need to know, um, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, when you, uh, before you get uh, into the platforms and all that, uh, you need to either download uh, the demo account with us or if you apply for a live account, and we will be sending you um, by email the login credentials as well as the link to download the platform. And you have three, uh, three versions. So the first one is uh, the one that you can see over here, which is the desktop uh, version. Uh, usually it's the one you put in your computer or your laptop. Then you have the web version as well, uh, which is simply, you know, when you go to your browser, like uh, Google Chrome, for example, and then in there you will see uh, the platform. It's a bit similar, uh, the layout. Uh, it's not quite the same, but you can still place the trades and see all the information that you need when you trade it. And the other uh, version that we currently have is the mobile version uh, as well. So you can either download it on your Android or your iPhone. So as well as your iPad as well, or any sort of, um, or the tablet. So um, yeah, so uh, once you download the platform, uh, this is how it will look. So obviously you will have to put your login credentials. So how you, how you log in? Well, the first thing you need to do is go to uh, the top left hand side, uh, click on file, and go all the way and select login to trade account. Okay, so that is the one you have to select. And then, as you can see, the login window will pop up. And as you can see, you put the login number, which are, as I already mentioned, we will be sending to you by email. Then the password, where you later on can change it and put uh, your own password, and the server. And with the server, ladies and gentlemen, you have to be a little bit careful with this um, because um, it has happened before. I've seen it many times that sometimes, especially you have one live account and one demo account, um, you might put the wrong server for the wrong login data. So let's say, for example, this is my login data for my demo account. But if I go and select my uh, the server, the real one, the CFI Trader Real, and I click OK, as you could hear, um, I, could, I couldn't be able to, to log in. Okay. And another way to find that out is um, if you go to here, down here to the journal at uh, the bottom of the uh, platform, you can see over here, it says, in Valley account, because obviously um, I put the login credential for a demo account into the real uh, uh, account server. So also another way to find out is if you look at the uh, bottom right hand side over here, this little icon here, you can see it's in red. So that also means that you not log in yet. Okay, it has to be in green. So uh, just bear that in mind, okay, when you are trying to log in and that you put in the right login credentials and also the right server. 
So once you did that, you simply, okay, as you can see now, we are finally successfully in, locked in into the NT5. So uh, yeah, the first things that you, as you can probably see over here is uh, this little table over here, which is called the market watch. And in here, um, one of the main features is that you can see pretty much all the symbols that you can trade with us, with CFI Financial. And we are currently offering uh, more than 7,000 instruments uh, available to trade. So yeah, which is quite good. One of those. Uh, so then obviously, uh, as you can see, you're probably thinking, well, okay, you offer more than 7,000 instruments. Why well, can only see um, five of them? And the reason for that is because you can customize it. You can you can add only the uh, ones that you're currently interested in, or if you want to add all of them, uh, which I wouldn't advise to do so, uh, you just simply right click, select show all, and then you have all the uh, instruments that you can trade with us. So, uh, but as you can see over here, it could be very confusing as well, because if you don't know the symbol straight away, uh, you might spend a little bit of time trying to find the um, instrument that you're looking to trade. So uh, best thing to do is just go, well, you can click in high all, and then just add the one that you are currently interested in. So let's say for example, the cable, then I can also add uh, gold uh, versus dollar. And then if you want some of the indices like uh, the Dow Jones and so on. So as you can see, you can type it. Then another way, um, this is one of the main uh, good things about the MD5. You always have more than just one way to do things, okay? So you can add the symbol here, like the way I was uh, showing you before by just typing in. Also, uh, you can either right click and select symbols and then the symbol window will pop up, or you can also go all the way here with this uh, the symbol list icon, as you can see over here. Click there and then, um, yes, you can see you can basically um, have a symbol window and then just add any of the instrument that you would like to have. So as you can see, for example, I'm interested to add the uh, WTI, so double click on the icon and that's it. It will be added on your uh, market watch, as you can see over here. So yeah, so um, that is basically how you add uh, the market watch. Also uh, on the market watch, you have also some of the details also of the instruments. So in this case, uh, you have some uh, details of the WTI. You can also do so for the other one. So let's say for the uh, cable as well. All, all you have to do is simply select, click on details, and then you can see uh, all the information over here. Also, uh, if it's better in terms of layout, uh, you can also have deleted uh, all the CS. So you can, see with one click, very much, you can place a trade, either uh, buy or, or, or sell. And uh, you can also customize the volumes or the, con the contracts that you're looking to trade uh, and so on. So yeah, that's another way that you have. And the ticks as well. Uh, maybe you are um, some sort of uh, intraday trader and you want to look at the price in this way as well. You can do so. But uh, usually I just stick on this with the symbols. Mm. Then um, as you probably notice, uh, you have a few columns over here. So the first one is the bid and ask prices. You also have the high and lows for the day. And this column with exclamation mark is the spread, okay? And uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, remember that the on the MT5, the spread is in points and not in pips, okay? So as you can see over here, uh, for this type of account that I currently have, it's a demo account, by the way. Um, the spread uh, for the cable is 19 points, so that would then be one spot nine pips, okay? So uh, just bear that in mind uh, because it's pretty much everything points with the MP5. Also, if you would like to remove any of these columns or maybe add uh, another column, all you have to do is right click. Go the way to the bottom uh, which says column and then in here you can just simply add the one that you used to see so if you want to get rid of the spread column you simply click on you want to add the back on 
just again uh, just select it and that's it it's very nice and simple and you also have uh, other options over here but i don't want to go through all of them but i just wanted to show you how you can add them and how you can remove them from the uh, market watch table okay um also um if you're interested to find out a bit more about certain instrument like for example the description of the product you also can do that simply select the instrument right click and go to and select a specification then the uh, description window will pop up as you can see over here and in here you have all the information about that particular product okay and also at the bottom you have the uh, trading sessions uh, as you know is uh, the uh, Fox market is open 24 hours a day from um, well it depends what you pace but um, usually it's at 10 p.m london time all the way to friday 10 p.m london time so uh, as you can see over here, you have all the specifications as well. So um, yeah, uh, you can do that. And uh, that will also be with everything, right? So also for example, call, if you wanna see the description for the call as well, you can see all that in the description window. Okay, if you have any questions uh, as i mentioned before early on in this uh, the beginning of the presentation you can always ask me any questions um by simply um well you can write the question in the um, chat box okay so i'm checking right now there's nothing so that's good i uh, hope everything's still clear but again uh do not hesitate if you have any questions okay so uh now moving on um how do we now place a trade okay so you have again like i mentioned before you have few oh you always have more than one way to do things so um the easy thing to do is you simply select the instrument that you're looking to trade right click and select new order or if you go all the way here as you can see you also have the uh, option as well okay but um, i'm just going to do the simple way so just right click select new order and the order window as you can see over here will pop up so um again just be careful and always double check that you have the right symbol then you have the type of order so you have uh, the market execution which essentially means that uh, you know you are executing the price at market so whatever the current price is as you can see over here and then the other type of order is the pending order which i will go into details in just a bit but let's just first stick with the market execution so then uh, you have your volume uh, so uh, just bear in mind that with the mt5 and uh, one Zero, 00 it basically is one standard contract okay whether you're trading uh currencies or um commodities or indices and some of the equities um the volume will always be one zero, 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 which means uh, one standard contract or in other words uh as it is in this case hundred thousand british pounds okay if you want to trade for example micro lot or the mini lot all you have to do is type zero spot ten then you have your mini lot or if you're looking to trade a micro lot um, zero spot zero one or if you also want to maybe uh, trade two mini lots or two micro lots or so on and stuff like that you can always adjust it as uh, your preference okay so you can do zero spot five zero so that would define mini lots and um, so on okay but um to make things uh, simpler uh we're just going to stick with one standard lot and that will be for all of the examples i will be showing you today so one standard lot um so in this case uh we go with one spot zero zero then we have this stop loss which uh, essentially is uh well prevent you from losing um more money so this will be done to yourself based on your risk management, your trading strategy and so on. So you can always calculate the work okay, I'm only willing to risk here 10 pips, 20 pips, 100 pips. And you know, again, it will be up to you. So uh, all you have to do, uh, you simply select the price. Um, I know it could be a bit quite confusing because obviously uh, you have uh, five decimals rather only four. So it would be then, uh, 
that you have to calculate that, okay? So um, I know it's not the easiest way, but this is the way it is on the MP5. So you select the price um, that you wanna place your stop loss. And once you do that, you skip it like that. Then we just take profit with it the same, okay? Um, so you can, uh, don't really have to put all the time, but obviously uh, this is what most people do anyway. So this is how you do it. And once you're happy with that, um, obviously it depends if you wanna go short or you wanna buy, that will depend on whether if you leave that the price of the um, British pound versus US dollar will either go up or go down. So, um, so in this case, we're just gonna go long. So buy at market. And as you can see at the bottom of the platform, um, in my uh, toolbox, you know, right where it says uh, the trade tab, and you can see here the um, the current position. Okay, that is obviously live. And also, uh, obviously, I already have my stop loss here. But if you want to modify this position, uh, you can do so. But just bear in mind that this is limited. Okay, um, so you cannot modify, for example, the volume. Um, or the uh, type of order, but what you can modify is the stop loss, the take profits, okay? So how you do that? Again, right click, select the instrument, right click, and then select on um, modify or delete. Okay, hold on one second. And in here, then you can modify it, okay? So um, now, uh, I know you, as you notice now, uh, the stop loss, you can put it now in points, okay? So that was not the case before. I don't know why the um, provider of MT5, which is made across, does do, doesn't do that earlier. But yeah, that's uh, if you want to make it simple, you can make here the points, and then as you can see, once you customize it, it will automatically show the current the price, okay, based on the pips that you are, um, you let's say, willing um, to raise for that particular position. So the same will be with the tech profit, okay. And once you're happy with that, you simply select, uh, click on modify. And that's it, okay? So, uh, obviously this is a live position. So how do we close the position? Um, you have uh, two ways to do so. Uh, the first one, which is the easiest one, you simply click on the uh, here and that's it. Or you can select the instrument, right click just as before and then select close position. And that is basically uh, how it is. But uh, the simplest way or the quickest way you're selecting the, uh, the X and that's it, okay? And that's how you would close a position uh, quicker. Okay, so uh, that is basically how you place an order at current market price. Now, uh, obviously uh, you kind of uh, want to place an order, but not right now, but maybe a little later on. So you have two options. So the first option would be, or you either sit down and stare at your screen until the um, price for that particular product, which is uh, the one you're looking for, or you can go ahead and select a um, pending order, which essentially is an order to be executed at a later time at a specific price that you specified, okay? And you have uh, three type of pending order. So the first one is limit order, and then you have two type of limit order, which the first one is byte limit order. And the second one, as you probably guessed it, is sell limit order. So uh, with buy limit order is basically where the price must be entered below uh, the current market price. And the reason why you might be interested in selecting this type of pending order is because, let's say, for example, as you can see over here with the cable, the GBP versus US dollar, seems to be in a downtrend movement at the moment, right? But then you believe that, if the, that the market might continue to go in this direction for a little bit, but after reaching a specific price, and th then the market will reverse and will go up. Okay, obviously that doesn't mean that will happen all the time, but let's say that is your belief. Then what you could do is you simply put your limit order right below. So let's say somewhere here. You know, just make sure it's always uh, below the red number. And then you can also put your stop loss. So again, just make sure that it's below your uh, 
lim limit order price. And once you do that, you can either leave this uh, order um, GTC, which basically stands for good thing cancel. That is basically, um, you know, you can cancel the um, pending order manually, um, either today or tomorrow or next week, whenever you can, when you want, if the market hasn't reached the price that you specified, okay? Or also, um, if you wanna don't wanna do it manually, uh, you can also specify a specific date and then on time. And then if the market hasn't reached that particular price, then after the expiration date, obviously the order will just get canceled, okay? So uh, once you're happy with uh, you know the specification for the buy limit order, simply click place, and it will be shown here at the bottom of your platform in the toolbox, as you can see over here. So uh, in this case, you can simply you know go relax, uh, enjoy time with your family. You have to go to work, you go uh, work, and if the market reaches this particular price, then the price will be uh, the order will become available. Uh, will be a live position and then we'll see you already set up your stop loss you also some sort of covert um, also um, just bear in mind uh, ladies and gentlemen that when you place a stop order that doesn't mean that that price is going to be guaranteed okay um, the reason why is that is because you know sometimes um, the one the price could be 100 but the next price available could be uh, let's say 90 dollars 90 dollars or so on okay so uh, and obviously the stop law happened to be at 95 well it won't be stop at 95 right it would be stop at um, 19 so yeah just bear in mind when you are putting your stop loss that is not guaranteed okay or at least it's not the case with uh, here at c5 financial and then if you would like to uh, close this pending order, you use the same way you close any position, okay? You can either select it and then um, click on um, delete or modify. So you have the option to delete it or you simply press here and that's it. Nice and simple. So let's go now with the other type of limit order, which is the sell limit order. It's basically the opposite of our buy limit order. It's basically when the price must be entered um, above current market price, okay? And this is the same situation as before. If you believe that, let's say, it's right now in a uh, uptrend um, situation, and you believe that after reaching a certain price, uh, the market would then reverse and go down. Okay, so all you have to do then is put the price above current market price, or in this case, above the uh, price in blue. And if you want to make put a stop loss, make sure you put above uh, your uh, limit order price. And um, once you do so, you simply click on press, and that's it. You just uh, same as before okay so as you can see very easy uh obviously this will all be down to your um you know your trend strategy and your risk management and so on but you know this is uh, one of the many ways that you can um to help you you know with trading especially if you are brand new um just getting to know um the trading forex or cfds um the, you have so many ways to um they will help you, right, uh, to uh, maximize your profits and also minimize your losses. Okay, so it's uh, so that doesn't mean that you have to be looking at your screen 24 hours a day. So yeah, so this is uh, one of the many ways that you have that uh, you can do when you are trading. Okay, so let's go now with the uh, second type of pending order, which is the stop order. And here, just at the, the same as uh, the limit order, you have two type of uh, stop order. So the first one, as you can see here, is buy stop order. And the second one is, yes, I know you guessed it, a sell stop order, okay? So uh, with the buy stop order, uh, you place this order um, if you believe that the market will continue to rise after reaching a specific price. So um, let's say, for example, that, you know, a little bit similar to before, you believe that the price after reaching this particular price, the market will just continue to that direction. Then you place your either buy stop order or your sell stop order. So in this case, we go for the buy stop order. Your volume as well, one standard contract of the uh, GBP versus US dollar. 
The price makes sure you put it above the uh, price in red since it's a buy stop order. And then with the stop loss, just make sure it's below um, your buy stop price. And once you're happy with that, just click select place and that's it. So you can see over here, uh, the place is, is like that. So I'm just gonna leave it like this uh, because I want to see if the market reaches this particular price and then you will see basically, I mean, it's not like the um, sort of another world, you know, simply as soon as the market reaches this price, it just go, this order will go about this here on top here and then um, you will see all the any profit or losses that you're making. So it's not re really really anything special, but you know, sometimes it's better um, to see it rather than just uh, wondering, okay, what would have happened? Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this um, pending order as it is and hope for the best, I guess. <laughs> so, okay, so that is with uh, by stop order. So now let's go with the second one. Uh, second type of stop order, which is the sell stop order. And here is essentially the opposite of the previous one. So is when you believe that the price will continue uh, to fall after reaching a specific price. So again, just make sure that you have, you're looking, uh, well, in this case, we, we have one standard lot and the price, make sure you select it below the price in blue. And if you have, when I put your stop loss, make sure it's above um, your um, sell stop price, okay? And then you also have the expiration, you wanna leave it on, and then you cancel manually, or if you wanna specify a specific time or date, you can do so as well. And once you're happy with that, then you can uh, simply select um, place the order, and that we show here. And then also, um, well, uh, obviously you probably wonder, well, what happened with the second pending order? Well, uh, the market reached that particular price and I can guess that we also reach my stop loss. So um, basically the position go open, went live and then go close out probably instantaneously because my stop loss, okay? And I will show you where you can see um, this, but I don't wanna go to, I will show you later on. I just don't wanna jump into too many places because then, uh, some of you might get confused. So uh, I will show you later um, where you can see all the orders that you have either placed, canceled, or have gone live and then has been closed out either by you or automatically uh, by any, you know, stop loss and things like that. Um, okay, so that is it with the uh, stop order. Now we go with the final uh, type of pending order, which is the stop limit order. And with the stop limit order, we have uh, two types of stop limit orders. So obviously the buy stop limit order and the sell stop limit orders. And this type of orders uh, is basically a combination of the previous two pending orders. So um, that is the limit order and the stop order. And this is basically, uh, it's like combining these two type of order basically give you a greater precision when you're placing, uh, you're executing your trade, okay? And the way it works, uh, for example, with this buy stop limit order, basically, essentially all you have to do is place uh, the order above current market price. And then you place also uh, the, um, top limit price as well. So let me give you here an example how it works. So probably it's easier so you can see it. So um, I just put my price above the, uh, the price in red because it's a buy stop limit order. And then I click select my stop limit price. I just put it below the price I specify, but again, above current market price. So the way it works is basically, Let's say now the market uh, will go continue to go up and hit this price, okay? So one spot 38.84.8, okay? So once the market reaches this particular price, if the next price available in the market is between this range, then the order will become available. If not, so let's say we go from one spot 38.84, to uh, let's say one spot 40 and uh, zero, 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 
uh, then the order will not get executed, okay? So in order for this type of order to get executed, the price has to be, the market price has to be between this range, okay? And that is the reason why I mentioned to you um, that this type of uh, pending order give you a greater precision when you execute in the trade, okay? So uh, so that is with the buy stop limit order. So see, uh, you select place, and then again, just as before, it will show in your uh, trade tab in your toolbox, okay? And then uh, with the uh, other one, um, the sell stop limit order is basically the opposite, right? So just make sure you select your price um, below market price and your stop limit price is again below market price, but above your uh, the price that you specified. Okay, and once you have that, you simply again select place, and as you can see over here, it just shows here at the bottom of your own platform. Does anybody have any questions so far? Okay, perfect. Uh, no questions so far. So, okay, let's uh, move on. So that is, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, how you place um, an order in the MT5. As you can see, it's very nice and simple, nothing uh, too complicated, uh, which is uh, something really great, right? Because obviously, as uh, you probably know, training is already complicated. So the last thing you want is for the platform to also be complicated, okay? Uh, that's not ideal, right? So yeah, that is one of the good things while we are offering um, MT5 uh, here at C5 Financial because it's very user friendly, as you can see, and also uh, you know makes your life a uh, bit simpler. So yeah, so this is how you place an order. Also, um, there are all the ways that you can place an order even quicker. So as I mentioned, you know, I showed you before with the uh, market watch table, and you select here, trying to simply you know uh, you by simply um, clicking once and you can place an order right so as you can see over here and then without having to go to you know right click select all new order then the order window will pop up and then you have to specify a way in here you have here right here okay so yes uh, very nice and easy so that is basically uh with the uh how you place uh, an order now you're probably wondering, okay, perfect. Uh, I use uh, a lot of uh, technical analysis, or I would like to analyze a particular instrument, and I would like to use the chart for that. So uh, you probably noticed there is no chart so far. So uh, how do we add a chart? Uh, well, it's very simple. Uh, all you have to do is uh, select the instrument that you would like to analyze. So this, in this case, we go with the cable, uh, the GBP versus the US dollar. Right click and then select chart window. And this is how it will look. Uh, this is set up by default. You can always customize your chart. So if you're interested in customizing your chart, um, you can do so here. But before, obviously, this is the uh, candlestick chart. You also have two other type of charts. So you have the, um, the bar chart and also have the, uh, the other one, the... Um, line chart that you can see over here, okay? So if you would like to, uh, so we're just gonna stick with the candlestick one because it's commonly widely used. So if you want to customize your chart, all you have to do is right click, go all the way down to uh, properties. And then here you can see, you can then um, customize, it, customize it as your uh, preference. And uh, once you're happy with the, how you want your chart, you simply click okay then it will show how you wanted it. And if you like to save it, just because obviously every time you log in, you will have to do all over again. So that might be a bit annoying. So in order to save you sometimes, uh, you will have to save it. So how do you save it? You just again, right click, and then you go to templates and then save template, okay? And then you save it as not what you save any other documents um, on your computer. And once it's already safe, uh, all you have to do is go and select it. For example, I named my one uh, temp one. So I just click that one and that's it. Now my customized chart will show up. 
as it does here. So uh, yeah, this is uh, how it is. Also, you would like to add more charts, you can do so. Uh, use the same process as before. Just select the instrument, right click, chart window, go to template, um, and then you have to customize it. So um, how you put the two uh, charts together? Well, you have to go all the way here and click this little icon over here, and then it will adjust it automatically. Obviously, um, the visualization of the chart um, will depend on the size of your screen. So obviously, the bigger your screen, uh, the more chart you can add on, and very, the better will be uh, to visualize it, OK? So the reason why I say that is because if I start adding more and more charts, as you can see, it will go start looking smaller and smaller than the other ones as well. And there's going to be a point that it's going to be very, very difficult to even see um, anything really. Um, so, you know, if I add on another one, so let's say the um, SP 500, you know, uh, you can see, you know, it's starting to get smaller, smaller, smaller to the point that you won't be able to read anything. So, obviously, this will be down to the size of your screen. But uh, you know you can then stick with the normal ones. So uh, we're only going to stick with two. So just to make things simpler. So again, always select this uh, no overlapping icon, and then it will adjust your platform um, automatically. Okay. So uh, this is how you uh, basically um, add the chart into your uh, platform. Then if you're looking to add some sort of um, a technical indicators, uh, you can do so. You have many uh, few ways to do it. Uh, I will always say go to insert on the um, top uh, left hand side of your screen and then select the indicators. So in this case, uh, let's go with um, the moving average, which is uh, widely used by many traders. Um, you have obviously for those of you who don't know what the simple moving average is, it's basically uh, an average of the last, let's say in this case, 200 uh, days closing prices. And you can also uh, select uh, the 100, the last 100 closing prices, or also the last 50 days uh, closing prices, which is uh, widely used uh, by many traders and traders trading experts. And this basically helps you to indicate any uptrend or downtrend movements, okay? So uh, let's say, for example, if I select my last 50 closing days prices, as you can see over here, um, the line is right below um, my current price. So this is basically telling me that it's an uh, uptrend situation, indicating it doesn't mean they're always going to be the case, but again, this is just um, an indication, but doesn't mean it's 100% uh, correct. Okay, and then you can add the other more technique, uh, more moving average as well. So uh, as I mentioned before, uh, you can also uh, put in, for example, 100, and you can even change the color. So let's go with the yellow one, and then show here, and then you can add as many as you like, okay, with the five usually. And this obviously will be down to your own preferences, okay? It doesn't mean that you have to use it all the time. Um, all the, uh, I mean, all I can tell you is always, always use that if you are, if your trade is based on technical analysis, see, or always use an indicator that you can understand, okay? Because it is very important you understand the technical indicator that you're using, um, especially when, when you're gonna be trading in a live account, okay, with your own money. So, yeah, so just bear that in mind. Then we also have, uh, you know, you probably saw already some many other indicators. Um, you can also select, for example, the parabolic uh, SAR, which is done for stop and reversal. Um, then uh, you can also add some oscillators. So let's say, for example, uh, the RSI, which is um, stand for Relative Strength Index. Um, this type of indicator um, basically helps you to evaluate uh, the current strength of the market. So in this case, for this particular instrument, the GBP versus US dollar, and it's also escalated from zero to 100. And all every reading below 30 uh, or 30 or below, 
uh, is usually uh, considered to be in oversold conditions and any reading above 70 is considered to be overbought conditions, okay? So based on that, you can also make your uh, trading plans accordingly, okay? And then if you have to place any orders, you can do so as well, right? Based on that. So uh, again, this is only for uh, only indicators, okay? It doesn't mean that it's actually gonna happen. Or oh, just because it says uh, oversold condition, then you're gonna go short on the GBP USD, and then that means that you're gonna be making money because it's telling you it's over um, both conditions. So no, it's just only an indication. Um, so just bear that in mind when you're gonna be trading and using uh, technical analysis. So uh, this is basically how you add um, the indicators in the. Um, on the, on the charts, um, I'm not gonna go through all of them because it's way too many, but I just wanted to show you how you can add them. So as I mentioned before, just go to insert and then you have the indicators and then select what the trail oscillators, uh, you know, you can see over here. Then if you're wondering for the um, Fibonacci uh, retracement levels, uh, you have it over here. So and then you, you can just add it, okay? So that's it. That's how it is. Then if you like to delete uh, any of the indicator, you have, again, many ways to do so. So you can either go and simply click on top of the indicator and then uh, simply select delete indicator, or you can go right click indicator list and then select the ones you would like to delete. And that's it, it's really nice and simple. Then you can add them all or add any other uh, indicator as well. Okay, perfect. So this is um, how you um, add and also use some of the indicators uh, to add them on your chart. Um, another thing as well, um, you have uh, one of the good things as well, uh, the main features of MT5 is the time frame. So um, as you can see here, right on top of the market watch, um, you have uh, some of the most commonly um, used time frames. So that is uh, one minute, five minutes, 15 and half an hour. Then you have the hourly one and the uh, four hour time frame or the daily, weekly and monthly. But you can also have more. So um, all you have to do is simply right click on the chart, select uh, time frames, and as you can see here, you have more options. Okay, so that's uh, another way. And then uh, you also have a very quick. Uh, way to place an order. So as you can see here, um, you know, before we had to go to the market watch and then select trading, uh, but in the chart, you can also do it. So as you can see over here with this little auto window here, you simply click um, to, to place uh, the order you like, whether you wanna go long, you wanna go short, as you can see over here, and then you wanna cancel them, you just simply close the position, okay? So that's another quick way that you have to place an order on the MT5. So that is basically the basics, um, the, what you should know, um, how to place an order, how to add the charts, and also any where to find the symbols and how to add any indicator. Then uh, for the final part of the webinar, I'm just gonna be uh, showing you uh, the toolbox, okay? So as you probably guessed, uh, seen already every time we um, placing or executing an order, um, everything will appear on your trade tab, as you can see over here. And then also in the trade tab, as you can see, you have your uh, current balance, your equity and your free margin. And also if you have an open position, so in this case, let's use open one, you will have your margin level and your current margin as well, okay? So, uh, Balance is basically your current account balance. Um, that basically doesn't move at the moment because it's how it was before I opened any position. And that was my current balance. Then uh, we have equity. And equity is essentially a representative value of your current account. So that is uh, your current account balance, which is this amount over here, plus any unrealized 
profit or losses. So that is any, so in this case, I'm having a loss over here. So my equity would be my current balance minus 15 or $16, okay? And also, uh, I just wanted to let you know about this as well. So um, if your account currency is not in dollars, so let's say it's in GBP, then the platform automatically will adjust any profits or losses in your account currency. So since my account currency is in US dollar and I'm trading GBP USD and my counter currency is dollar, so that means any my pay value will be in US dollars, then it's not a problem because it's already uh, the same. But what happens if I'm trading the USD versus um, the GYP, uh, the Japanese yen, obviously uh, my pay value will be in yen. So any profit or losses, uh, the platform automatically will convert it in your account currency. So in this case, in US dollars. So I just wanted to let you know about that. But yeah, essentially equity is basically reflecting my current account balance plus any profit or losses that I currently have in, um, based on my open position. So if I just happen to close this position, then this is my equity, which I, in the sense I will be reflecting my account balance, okay? So I hope that is all clear. So then we have the margin, uh, which again will be based on your current account currency and the platform again we do we do this automatically so because as you see uh i'm trading the gbp usd so um my base currency is gbp so uh it's basically 100 since it's one standard contract one trading it's 100 000 pounds so uh my leverage in um obviously would depend on what type of flare you have your account so if my level happened to be, uh, let's say, 3,333 uh, pounds, then the platform automatically will convert that to my current account, uh, my account currency, which is US dollars. So it would then be reflecting um, just 4,580 $4, dollars, okay, with 86 cents. So that would be my margin, which is the money um, I have to use in order to open that particular position. Then I have my free margin, which is basically the money available to trade. So I can still opening up more and more trades. And then we have my margin level, which uh, basically, uh, as you can see over here, is a percentage value based on the amount of my equity versus my the margin I'm currently using. Um, so it would be this, obviously, equity plus margin, okay? And the margin level basically allows me to know uh, how much of my funds are available to trade. And since it's expressed in percentage, you have to be very careful here because let's say I just happen to have massive losses, okay? Obviously my margin level will just go down, 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 down. So if my margin level reaches 100%, that basically means that I'm not gonna be able to open any more new trades. The reason for that is because I'm gonna be in margin call. So in order to carry on having more losses to the point that I might actually end up in a negative balance and owing money, um, I will. the platform will not allow me to open any new trades when the margin level is at 100% or below okay if i want to let's say um open a new position you have two options or you either deposit more money into your trading account or you simply close one of your current open positions and then you can open another position okay so basically those are the two options but then we're not done with margin level yet because let you say that i'm just gonna hope for the best i'm gonna pray and hopefully the market will go in my favor but that's not the case. So the market carries on going against you. Then my margin level will eventually reach, let's say for example, 50%. If my margin level reaches 50%, that means that my positions, my open positions will get closed out automatically, okay? Without even asking you, the broker here at CFI or any uh, CFD brokers will not be, not gonna call you to tell you, hey, uh, are we allowed to, 
um, asking permission to close your position. No, the platform automatically will close out your positions. And the reason why this happens basically to prevent you from losing more and more money to the point that you might end up having a negative balance. So that is a reason why when your margin level reaches at, is at 50%, the platform will close out your position, your open position, and will start from the biggest position to the smallest position. Okay, so just bear that in mind when you see your margin level, especially if you're losing a significant amount based on your current account balance, um, be wary of your margin level, okay, because that will be telling you um, whether you have to make the deposit more money or close one of your positions because it's not going to go well if it carries on going below 100%. Okay, so that is basically it with the trade tab. Then you have the exposure trap. So um, in here, obviously, you have any open position. We'll show you the, your exposure at the moment. Then you have the history tab, which is uh, basically tells you every single position that you have um, placed. OK, so um, you know, as you can see over here, you can see uh, the symbol, the ticket number, um, the type of order, whether it was a buy or sell, the, the volumes. Uh, the price, any stop loss that I might have, or take profit, the timing, the price, and any profit or losses will also be showing you here, okay? And then at the bottom of the screen, you can see my current profits, um, the deposit, any withdrawals, you have any withdrawals, and my current account balance, okay? And then also uh, you can export this as well. Um, and you, let's say, for example, you want that in uh, Excel sheet, so you could be able to um, save it in your documents, in your computer, you can do so. All you have to do is right click, select report, and then you can um, basically extract the report in an Excel sheet. Then uh, we have the new stuff, uh, which in here, by the way, um, for those of you who are not clients, or if you are a client actually, uh, we now added our uh, trading central into the uh, platform as well. So before was not the case. Uh, the only way you would be able to see your trading central was either by looking at your emails, because we will send you uh, usually twice a day, um, the uh, market analysis, but now, and you also have it on your uh, portal, your client portal. When there, you know any new any news that's happening right now would be added there. But we have now added it into the platform. So as you can see over here, you can now see it here. So all you have to do is simply click, and then you will have your little uh, analysis over here. And then if there is any news, you you can see the whole news over here. You can see. So yeah, this is uh, very exciting, by the way. It's very nice. Uh, for those of you who are not client of CSI, CFI Financial, uh, we offer um, a trading tool to our clients, uh, which is, well, an analyst views, our economic calendar, even a TV, like a little channel on the New York Exchange. And all that uh, is available completely for free to only to our clients. So uh, this is also another uh, value that we have over here at CFI Financial. And you can now can see it in your trading platform, which before was not the case, so now has been in the last uh, couple of months now anyway. So yeah, it's quite uh, fascinating actually. So yes, so here you have all the news that is coming up. Um, that is with the news tab. Uh, then with the mailbox tab, uh, well, we usually send you any information regarding your trade account to your registered email address, uh, whether it's for a demo account or a live account, uh, we will send we will be sending you any notification of, uh, over there. Then also, uh, I mentioned before that we had the economic calendar in your client portal, where you also have it in your platform. And uh, you can see in the calendar tab here, you can see everything is happening today, uh, what will happen tomorrow or later in the week as well. So yes, uh, you can then be aware of, of what is happening uh, for that week ahead or that particular week or that particular day, okay? Then uh, for the rest of the other tabs, uh, not really uh, that relevant. Um, obviously you have any extra advice we show over here. And then as I mentioned earlier before, um, with the journal, basically all the activity that is, ha, has happened uh, in your account, including every time you log in, log out, um, anytime you place an order, 
and so on. It will also show in your journal tab. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, um, I basically conclude with today's presentation. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, do ask me um, before I close um, today's webinar, okay? Okay, it uh, doesn't seem that we have any questions today. Um, so I hope uh, that, well, obviously as it shows that probably everything was very clear. Anyway, if you have any question, would like to speak to me uh, as well, uh, maybe uh, later in another day or so on, you can always contact me um, on the, you know, by just contacting the company, asking for my name, I'm more than happy to, um, you know, if you have any questions about trading and things like that, I'm more than happy to to speak to you and uh, answer any questions that you might have. Or if you're already a client on CFI Financial, you can always contact your um, representative and they're going to be very happy to also answer any inquiry that you may have. So, well, that is it. It has been a pleasure once again. I hope you are enjoying your day and... Well, um, see you next time. Goodbye.